Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, the Kakadash, and double honor to the elders, great meal, so I learned this truth, and also to the whole elect that is scattered abroad. I'd like to say, shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And the type of the lesson is the end of everything is at hand. So I like to say shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the idea about it, everyone is constantly uh, in the house of mirth right now. You know, this pagan holiday uh, is uh, Thanksgiving. You know, a lot of people are constantly rejoicing right now, constantly drinking and being merry. And the idea about it is that it's the end of all things. And I about it, a lot of people are constantly still thinking that they're a good case, still thinking that this world is going to constantly go on. But I deal about it, we're at the end of time. And I deal about it, everything that we know and see, everything that is very precious to you. You know, a lot of people have great possession. A lot of people love their family and their loved ones. A lot of great death and mourning is getting ready to come upon this earth. And I deal about it, the great day of the Lord is getting ready to return. And I deal about it, that, you know, the Lord is getting ready to set everything back into order. And I deal about we're in a transition of power, whether you know it or not. And I deal about the truth is all over the place. It's it's all in the earth now. And I deal about he said, when this gospel has been preached throughout the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. So it's the end of everything that we know and see. And I deal about is that a lot of our people would not get it this time around. But the ideal about is that, you know, we're at the end. We're measuring the time diligently in itself. But the ideal about is that a lot of our people are constantly uh, into all these uh, uh, pagan holidays, uh, uh, going into the uh, tradition of men. And that about it will only lead to your death and destruction. So the title of the day, lesson once again, the end of everything is at hand. So we'll, we'll open up with a quick precept. Let's go to uh, 1 Peter, one moment. 1 Peter chapter 1, and we'll, we'll go to verse 13. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 13. And it reads, Wherefore, gird up the lawns of your mind, be sober and hope and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Masiach. So that is about the Lord is getting ready to reveal itself. And that is about the Lord is getting ready to return. And a lot of people are not watching, not praying, not being sober, not paying attention, constantly despising the prophet. But that is about it that it's the end of everything. So now, let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, uh, Ecclesiastes quick lesson through the spirit Ecclesiastes chapter 7 one moment Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes chapter 7 one moment Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and we'll start up at verse at verse 2 Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 2 one moment and it reads it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting for that that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart or his mind. Verse three, sorrow is better than laughter for by sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Verse four, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, the elect, but the house of, but the hearts are like, but the heart of fools are in the house of mirth. And I deal about those are the two third. I deal about it. a lot of people are constantly uh, uh, enjoying this day, eating, drinking, getting full, you know, made all type of uh, uh, abominable foods that they chitlins, uh, all type of things that's displeasing to you. How about you, Yahweh Shah? And I deal about the men of the Lord. We are in the house of uh, mourning. And I deal about we are wise. And I deal about we're constantly doing the will of you. How about you, Yahweh Shah? And I deal about is that, you know, we're seeing that everything is getting ready to come to a abrupt end. All of a sudden, when they say peace and safety, then total destruction is upon us. And all our people want to do it is, is constantly play a game, constantly drinking, getting drunk, you know what I'm saying, having fun, watching uh, uh, football games, all these type of things. They're being, uh, constantly being rocked back to sleep from the left hand side. Thanks killing that, you know what I'm saying? And I deal about this other uh, 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 day that's coming up, very wicked day is Christmas, and I deal about they they constantly is locked in on all type of wickedness and nonsense, and I deal about the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. It's the end of everything. So now, let's go to Luke. A quick lesson through the Spirit. I'm hoping you're getting edified by the lesson today. Luke chapter 21. One moment. Luke chapter 21 and verse 34. Luke chapter 30. I mean 21 and verse 34. Salaki, and it reads. And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with surfeiting 
and drunkenness and cares of this life and, and so that the day come upon you on the world. So a lot of people are constantly getting uh, caught up in the ways of this world, caught up in the, all these uh, uh, tradition of men. And that little body is constantly uh, getting them sidetracked, constantly uh, uh, distracting them. And that little body, the Lord is trying to get your attention. Seek the Lord while he can't be found because that little body, the men of the Lord, we're constantly seeking the Lord early, each and every day, because we knowing that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So now we'll start back up at Luke chapter 21 and verse 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Verse 36, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted, accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and, and to stand before the Son of Man. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So that is about a lot of people constantly doing all the, all this wickedness right now. Uh, Thanks killing day is going on right now. A lot of people are drinking. They are constantly don't have their uh, uh, mind on, on seeking the Lord. They're not even thinking about the Lord. And I did about it. We, we are the only one uh, be, will be worthy because the, I did about it. The house of David, we're standing up tall. And I did about it that we're constantly seeing all the things around us. Everything is getting ready to come to end. We are in the transition of power. Uh, a lot of things are getting ready to take place. World War III is right upon it. The mark of the beast, the, the NWO, the New World Order, all these things are coming to pass. And I did about it. Our people are constantly, uh, are constantly rejoicing, constantly uh, in all this paganism, all this uh, 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 false darkness, all these different things. That's constantly leading you straight to destruction. They said, anyone that wanders out of the path of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's also what's happening today. A lot of our people are constantly surfing, constantly being drunk from the left hand side. And that little bit, we're constantly warning you left and right. But that little bit, you will not get it. It's the end of everything. The end of everything is at hand. So now, let's go to uh, Philippians, Philippians chapter 4, one moment. Philippians, one moment. <clears throat> One moment. <clears throat> Philippians chapter 4 and verse 5. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 5. And it reads, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. So the great day of the Lord is at hand. So we taking that very serious. We taking this in, in moderation each and every day. We constantly making these videos. We constantly going out on the highways and byways. Constantly warning you, you know, sound the alarm. So we taking everything in moderation because we know the great day of the Lord is at hand. And I deal about it. He will come like a thief in the night when you're unaware. All this drinking and all this having a good time, you know, enjoying drinking and being merry in the house of mirth. And I deal about it. You are in the house of a fool. And I deal about it because you, 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 you would not seek him. When he called you, you, you should, you, you're not answering. Right now, he's calling you. But that is about you do not want to return. And that is about you will be cut off. So now, let's start back up. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Revelation, a, a, a short lesson through the Spirit. Let's go to Revelation chapter uh, 16. One moment. Revelation chapter 16. One moment. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15. One moment. <clears throat> And it reads, one moment, and it reads, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keepeth his garment, this word. Let, let he, lest he walk, Salaki, naked, and, and they see his shame. Let's read that again. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keepeth his garment, this word. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame so that is about the one that's walking naked right now and don't have this great wisdom and knowledge it's the two third uh thanks killing day getting ready for christmas doing everything going in the ways of the gentiles and that's about not thinking about their true power not measuring the time not re redeeming the tithe wisely and that is about it. the great day of the lord is fast approaching we are right we are here the end is here and everything is getting ready to be manifested. The end is being manifested left and right. We are right upon Jacob's trouble. All hell can break loose. You know, this Thanksgiving could be your last supper because the idea about it, the, the, the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. And I about it, he knowing that his time is very short. So watch, pray, and be so. It is the end of all things. It is at hand. The end is at hand. And the great day of the Lord, it is fast approaching. And I deal about it. We cannot wait. Rejoice ye heaven. So now. Let's go to our last and final scripture. Let's go to uh, 2 Peter. One moment. 2 Peter. <clears throat> 2 Peter. One moment. <clears throat> 2 Peter chapter 3 
And we'll start up at verse 10, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. One moment. And it reads, but the end, but the salak, let me start over, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and in, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works there are in shall be burnt up. Verse 11, seeing, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what matter a person ought ye to be in all holiness, conversation, and godliness? Verse 3, looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Verse 13, nevertheless, we, we according to his promise, take a new heaven and a new earth. Look, so like, look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So that is about that. That is getting ready to happen. This earth that we uh, know right now, this wicked kingdom, you know what I'm saying, is getting ready to be destroyed. Everything that we know and see is getting ready to be destroyed with fervent heat. The IBCM missile, the indignation of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. World War Three is right upon it. There's rumors of wars all over in the Middle East. All you have to do is turn on your TV. The world news, they're constantly telling, they're trying to keep it covered, but that about it's nothing being hid right now. The covering cast has been removed. And that about a lot of our people constantly going on in the ways this world, not uh giving a damn of uh, about their salvation. And I deal about the mental law. We constantly sign and crying left and right, telling you that it is the end of everything that we know and see. And we constantly warn you left and right. And I deal about the end is here. And I deal about just like I said once again, you know, thanks killing day could be your last supper. Because the idea about they talking about a dog winner. All these things is getting ready to come upon us all of a sudden. And, then I, and the Lord said he would come like a thief in the night. Then he said, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. And I deal about it. That, that's what we're waiting on. That reward, rulership, the uh, dominion, spiritual power above all nations. And I deal about it. We cannot wait. And I deal about it. That we constantly want you left and right. So I, keep your eyes on the prize, which in fact is the kingdom of heaven. So the title of the day lesson once again is the end of everything is at hand. I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rukakadash. And I like to say, Shalom.